It's been nine whole days since our technical director, Ashton, <laughs> said yes to the mess. Oh. 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 I was so excited for him when I'm starting to feel bad. And the mess that I'm referring to is the 28-day oh. Taco Bell challenge where he's eaten nothing but Taco Bell for the entire month. Wow. And the fans have been clamoring for updates. They want to know <laughs> nine days in, Ashton, are you still standing? Don't answer that. <laughs> Because I can see you're right in front of me. You are standing. I feel like I want him to really champion this. Are you still into it? Are you still excited? Well, Ashton's already talked to me off the radio. He told me that it has been a little bit challenging. Hasn't been the smooth road that he thought the first week (laughs) might be. Oh, and really? now he's ordering bean and cheese burritos. Hold the beans, hold the cheese. Just a tortilla. You're just eating a tortilla. That's Ashton? kind of where he's at. But I, have a little onion. Yesterday, a game changer appeared. Okay. Hey. When this young ginger-haired orphan rolled into the drive-through on his he's mini an scooter, and he discovered they mini have scooter. a breakfast menu. Yay! Good I've lord! Always, I've always heard rumors that the T-Bell uh, breakfast is fire. I mean, like, you can't go wrong with a breakfast burrito. What else uh-uh. do they got on there? Yeah. All of a sudden, the lights came back <laughs> on for him. His world opened up, and he thought, maybe, just maybe, I can actually do this. Yay! Oh, yay, so, Ashton! There, power through! There is hope, but let's put the music down real quick. I'm going to need a drum roll in a second. I need the percentage from you, Ashton. In your mind, what are the chances that you finish this thing off? All right, drum roll, please. Give me the percent. Uh, 60 40. What? 60% That's it? chance that you're going to wow. wow. see it through? Yeah. Wait, you guys are yeah. impressed by that? <laughs> I'm like highly disappointed. You're yes. only on oh. day nine. <laughs> <laughs> Digital Jake, by the way, have you reached out to Taco Bell yet with a DM? Because Ashton deserves something from them, like a medallion oh, or that would be some so sort cool. of big golden bell he can wear yeah. around his neck. He oh, needs Jane. a reward from the company Does that we've have... <laughs> unofficially partnered with. Yeah, I'll reach out to the medallion department. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's yeah. what Let's put it up on a Twitter poll, okay? Update on the poll. What do you think yeah. Ashton deserves to get from Taco Bell if he successfully completes the challenge? A golden bell medallion, free Taco oh, Bell for no. a year, oh. or hot sauce hot tub challenge coming up in March? Ooh. We're just going to roll right into it. I think Make he deserves sure you McDonald's. Don't have any small cuts when you get into that hot tub. <laughs> oh, yikes. And now let's roll into the shot collar question of the day. I'm hungry for some trivia questions this morning. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Just as hungry as I am for Taco Bell breakfast. Jake, give us some tasty, tasty trivia to munch on. Well, men are simple creatures who enjoy basic things. Mm -hmm. Really? Warm food, Mm -hmm. cold beer, a soft couch. Mm -hmm. Easy stuff. A good stereotype. (laughs) I love it. We can confirm. Jeff Moore. Well, (laughs) women are a little more complex beings. Uh, Watch out here, Jake. Their needs are a little more specific. (laughs) Yeah. You know, like Jeff. Gently sipping on a grande, gluten-free, four-pump, half-calf, non-fat, dolce, <laughs> soy, skinny latte with extra caramel drizzle, no whip flipped upside down. Is that uh, your order, Alexis? <laughs> Did you say oat milk? Did you miss that? I missed it. Yeah. Oh, you said soy. Oh, Shame on you, <laughs> But at the top of the list of complicated things that women love is being rescued from a dangerous, life-threatening situation <laughs> by a big, muscly man with peanuts for brains. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy. Every time. I just wanted you it. to say being right. That's what I love. Uh. Right. No. <laughs> Which is why a new survey asked a thousand people this question. In the movies, name a specific place a damsel in distress might be trapped or face danger. Mm-hmm. I have the top five answers ready to go in a heroic, don't blow it edition of Unglued Family Feud. We'll start with the guy who owns more Speedos than Superman at the beach. It's young Jeffrey. (laughs) Jeffrey, in the movies, name a specific place where a damsel in distress might be trapped or face danger. Well, the obvious answer is inside Jose's apartment. But (laughs) I don't think that's going to be... I don't think they made the movie of that yet. Is there four damsels in there we need to go check (laughs) on right now? Probably. I wish. (laughs) They're all escaped. I'm thinking, though, of every Liam Neeson movie because he's always yeah. having to chase down the women in his life and rescue them after they get captured. Is he Naked Gun? Is that Liam Neeson? That's Leslie no. Nielsen. Oh, that's <laughs> <very> <laughs> the opposite. Two damsel magnets, to be sure. Uh, but Wait, which one are we talking about? He's the one about? who's like, I will find you and I will kill you. Yeah. 
Oh, take it. Take it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. And so he's always saving women from dangerous <laughs> places. I would go with moving trolley on fire, but maybe that's <laughs> yeah. a little too specific. <laughs> mm-hmm. So to make it more general, I'm going to go with shuttle or trolley in peril. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have to be on fire. Yeah. A shuttle or trolley in peril... <laughs> Uh-huh. Not on the list. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kidding me. It's Alexis, Disneyland. I have all the top five still available for you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it counts like Disney movies with like a castle or a tower, you know, like the basic Rapunzel. Yeah. Um, or like Shrek. Isn't Fiona trapped somewhere? Okay. Yeah. Did you, did you see like the movie? The, yeah, <laughs> she's pulling but, from all the animated films she's I know. watched. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I say castle then or tower. Castle. <laughs> Is correct. Okay. It's yeah. number two. Okay. I'm going to give you tower as well. Tower uh, slash castle mm-hmm. okay. is correct. So Alexis is safe. Let's go to Jose. In the movies, Jose, a specific place where a damsel in distress might be trapped or just facing danger. I'm thinking of some type of house that you're trapped in. Maybe it's on fire. Like a, less, a lesser <laughs> castle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, a yeah. low income <laughs> castle. Yeah. <laughs> So I think that makes the most sense in my head. Like, I'll save you. You're trapped in a house, Jake. House is incorrect, Jose. But I will say you are on the right track. You might need to be a little more specific about where in the house. But let's go to Brooke. Okay. So, oh, damsels. I either picture them, like, in the clutches of a monster Mm -hmm. or in a dungeon. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It had to be rescued from a dungeon because they get thrown Mm -hmm. in there all the time. Yeah. Mostly to do laundry. That's probably um, the part of the house that Jake was talking about. I'm going to go dungeon. That's it. Brooke said dungeon. That's correct. Hey. I'll give you that for basement in a house. Okay. Oh, okay. See, that's, I was like, it is ah, where laundry That happens. is where typical mm-hmm. dungeons are located. Yeah. So we have number two off the board, tower or castle. Number four, basement or dungeon. Let's go back over to young Jeffrey. Okay. Well, I'm thinking of where like the shadiest type of men tend to hang out. Oh. And I'm going... Are you saying my apartment again? No, I think he's thinking about where he was Saturday night. Yeah, which was at the local bowling alley. Uh, what? Oh. No a lot of shady characters there. Guys named Butch holding onto their Budweiser's with just two fingers, yeah. looking to cause trouble in the night. Okay. Oh, yeah, with those bowling shoes. I think you've been to a bowling alley recently. I think it's a scary place, especially when you go right outside the bowling alley. But just to make it general, I'm going to say alleys in general. Oh. An alley. A shady alley. Show me alley. That's correct, oh, Jeffrey. Right. Right. See, bowling alleys. <laughs> dark, scary alley. places. There's two exits in an alley. <laughs> Let's go over the answers really quick. Number six, I wouldn't have counted this, but I was going to see if anyone said it. A car. Anyone I, in a car? In the next, trunk yes. of a car? That was my next wouldn't you have accepted give, it. You wouldn't give him trolley, huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> of course not. Trolley and peril, very different from a car. Number five, an elevator. Getting trapped between floors. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Brooke said number four, basement or dungeon. Jeffrey got number three, a dark alley. Alexis got number two, tower or castle. And I'm very disappointed in all of you for not getting number one yeah. on the train tracks. Oh, I didn't oh. know we were talking vaudeville times. Yeah. Wow. All movies. We were talking Shrek. We got to be talking vaudeville. <laughs> oh, man. Well, so Jose's going to be taking the shock this morning. He didn't get one right. And somebody wanted to hear Bad Blood by Taylor Swift. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. You know it used to be mad love. So take a look what you've done. (laughs) The show is over, but you can hear it all again in podcast form. Just go to Spotify, search Brooke and Jeffrey.